most scientists in this area agree that most knee pain that eventually results in requiring knee replacement surgery is when there is excessive load on kind of the inside of the knee. So how does that excessive load happen on the inside of the knee, which causes, for those of you that don't know, which causes the breakdown that creates the rubbing, that creates the pain on the inside of the knee, and that is this motion right here. So what causes this motion right here? If you can see, I hope you see is kind of like a V or a greater than sign facing me. Okay, so this would be a less than sign. I'm gonna call this kind of a greater than sign. When your knee starts to do that motion, there's excessive force on this side of the joint. When do most people experience the most pain? It's at heel strike, so it's when the heel hits the ground, and at toe off. If you're someone that has knee arthritis, you probably already know that, and what most people do to avoid that is you just keep a little bend in your knee, and you kind of skip over this phase altogether and you just kind of go to this phase of the walking. So that's one potential thing. The other thing that people do to kind of offset that uh, load or that force that goes into this side of the knee right here is you lean your trunk to one side. You lean your trunk towards the side of the painful knee. Your brain is compensating or subconsciously helping you with your pain. Other things that we know contribute to that load or increases the amount of load on that inside part of the knee is walking slower. When we walk, we move our center of gravity over that foot. The slower you walk, this is just how I'm envisioning it in my head, there's, more, there's just more load for a longer amount of time through that inside of that joint. So most of you already know this because you probably do slow down or you have slowed down your walking a little bit because that's what a lot of people will do when you're having pain. And that might actually be increasing the amount of pain that you're having in your knee. And that is also very important to be aware of.